If you haven't heard, there is an indigenous group that have been living in the Philippines for over 30,000 years. Meet the Aita tribe of the Philippines. This indigenous group of the Philippines, known as the Aita, are a group related to the Negrito ethnic group who occupy the Ifugao province of the Philippines. They are characterized by their short stature, kinky hair, and dark skin. The Negritos are thought to be one of the earliest inhabitants of the Philippines about 30,000 years ago. According to historians, the Aitas are Australo-Melanations, same group of blacks found in Australia and Melanations of the Solomon Islands. While they do share close resemblance with Africans, it is not clear as to how they actually arrived in the Philippines. There are several theories as to how they got here, one of which is the land bridge theory. How do you think they arrived here? Leave us a comment down there. As I told you, if, even though we have uh, many tribes here in the Philippines, uh, we are Naita, different uh, languages we have. So we have, uh, we don't know uh, what they're talking yeah. about, we have different languages. Aitas are characterized by their skin pigment, height, and hair. They mostly have dark to dark brown skin and are usually below 5 feet tall. Traditionally, Aitas are a hunter gatherer tribe. They are usually among the most skilled when it comes to jungle survival. In the Philippines, Aita women are highly regarded for their herbal medicines. Most Aitas practice monotheism and are animists. They worship a supreme being and at the same time also believe in environmental spirit. They believe that various places in our environment are being governed by both good and evil spirits. As for their clothing, they wear plain and simple clothes. Traditional items who are skilled in weaving and plating wear wraparound skirts, that is for women, and loin clothes for men. They are very much into music and visual arts. <laughs> Most Aitas can be found in the northern part of Luzon. According to historical accounts, they have lived near Mount Pinatubo in Zambales for thousands of years. But when Mount Pinatubo erupted in 1991, it devastated the Aita population. The majority lost their homes, while some resettled in urban areas. This gave way to the Aitas being modernly influenced by prevailing Filipino culture and practices. Unfortunately, the Aita suffer as a marginalized community like many of the indigenous people throughout the world. Globally, indigenous people tend to be at the bottom, while the so-called urban population is considered supreme. Ma, baki tayo mga Aita, kakulay natin ang lupa. Kaya ba marumi ang tawag nila sa akin? Ang taong madumi ay ang taong hindi malinis ang puso. In a country that values its Asian-looking, half-Caucasian and lighter-skinned Filipinos, the Aita are at the bottom of the barrel, and so they remain the forgotten black tribe of the Philippines. Despite all this setback, the Aita are a happy and prideful people. They are a loving community and welcoming to all. Hey, if you like this kind of videos, simply say I love this in the comment section below because there is more of where this came from. Also, do share with a friend on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter. As usual, I'm your host Murphy, and I'll catch you in the next video. Stay safe. Peace.